Hey y'all, I have three quick, easy, and delicious Christmas recipes for you. This video is a part of a huge collaboration. We are bringing you Christmas recipes, and it's hosted by Valerie at Valerie Hargett and Sammy from Managing the Maze, two of the sweetest people on YouTube. So make sure you check out their channels and like and subscribe. And make sure you go down below and click on that playlist. You're going to get all the videos in this collab. You're going to get some awesome recipes from some great channels. So make sure you check out all the information down below. And I'll also have all the recipes linked down below. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm making some Mexican cream cheese pinwheels, some delicious cranberry cream cheese dip, and also some pretzel bites. And you know you got to start off with some cream cheese. It's the holidays. And I'm going to start on, start with the Mexican cream cheese pinwheels. I will have the exact recipe linked down below. I've got some onion and garlic powder and some taco seasoning and a little bit of salt. And I'm just going to mix that together until it's incorporated with the spices. And I'm adding green and red peppers. And I'm also adding in some candied jalapenos. You don't have to add that in. You can just add the peppers or just some regular jalapenos. And add whatever kind of cheese you like. I'm using some Monterey Jack. And just mix that together. And it's really pretty. It's got the green and red. So I thought it would be perfect for Christmas time. And I'm going to use some crescent rolls. The recipe calls for tortillas, but I'm going to use crescent rolls since it's Christmas time. And I love using them together with cream cheese. So I'm just going to spread that out. I just use some regular crescent rolls and just pinch the sides together. So make sure you just spread it out evenly and leave the corner so it'll roll up a lot easier and the filling won't come out. So I'm just going to roll this up just like a cinnamon roll. Just roll it up on the side and just try to make it as even as possible and you could always fix it when you get it rolled up so it was really easy to do and look how pretty it is perfect for christmas time and it was so delicious so i hope y'all make this one All right i'm going to cut it in the middle and then cut each side in the middle and that's how i'm going to get some even slices and i think i would next time cut mine in one more slice to make them a little bit smaller they're just a little bit taller than i would like but next time i will I will cut them into a little bit smaller slices. Okay, so I sprayed my glass dish and I put my rolls in there and I'm going to put them in a 350 degree oven until they're nice and brown. Y'all, these things made the house smell so good. And look how brown they are. And I am going to put some cheese on top. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I'm going to put some on there and put it back in there and let it melt. They almost look like cinnamon rolls, but I cannot wait to try these, y'all. I'm going to get one out of the out of the plate and try it. It smells so good. All right, y'all. This was a 10 out of 10. This was delicious. A little bit sweet, a little bit savory. This was a big hit, and I'll definitely make this again. All right, let's start on the next one. It is a cranberry cream cheese dip, and I'm trying to make myself like cranberries, and this made me like cranberries. And I am using fresh ones. I rinsed them off. I didn't use quite a bag full, so I'm not using quite as much sugar, but I'll have the recipe link below. And it called for apricot preserves or jam, but I'm going to use my green pepper jelly because I have got to use that up and it is delicious. So I thought it would be great in here. I didn't have any more red pepper jelly or I would have used that, but I think you could use any kind of jelly. I think even apple jelly would be good here. So I'm going to mix that up and it says to heat it till it's boiling and then continue to let it boil for five minutes, stirring constantly until the berries are popped open and it begins to darken. So I think you can use your own homemade cranberry sauce. So if you want to use that instead of this recipe, you could. And now it's been cooking for about five minutes and making the house smell amazing. Now I'm going to add a cup of chopped pecans. If you've never seen that trick that I use, I always chop them up in a bag because it keeps them from flying everywhere and it's so much easier. So now I took it off the heat and put those pecans in there and I'm going to stir that around. Then I'm going to take that mixture and put it in the fridge until it's cooled off. All right, it's cooled down and ready to go on the cream cheese. I did see that this recipe uses two blocks, so... I would half the recipe next time or if you're feeding a big crowd you could make it all but I will have the exact recipe link down below 
and it says just to make a well in the middle with your cream cheese and then you're going to add that on the top. I have never been a cranberry sauce person but this was delicious y'all with the sweet and the savory with the nuts. This was delicious and so pretty on the plate. I've got my Dollar Tree plate right here and I'm going to add some crackers to it and we're going to dig in. All right, y'all, I've got my crackers here. This was delicious. You have got to make this so easy but so beautiful, especially to take to a party. And now we're going to finish with these Rollo pretzel bites. I am making it two different ways. I have got some Rollos here, and I'm also using some Hershey's Kisses. And I always get these pretzels from Aldi every year. I picked up the Rollos and the M&Ms, and I'm also using some pecan halves. So there's going to be some like some turtles, and also one with some M&Ms on the top. So I'm just filling in the, the rings with the candies. Some of the rings weren't big enough, so I had to go back in the bag and get some that were a little bit more round to fit my candies in. And the ones with the Rollos were really good because I put the nut on there and it made it kind of like a turtle candy. And these other ones are going to be probably for the grandkids and they're going to have the Hershey's Kiss and an M&M &M put on the top and maybe even some sprinkles. And you'll put these in the oven for about five minutes on 200 until they come out really shiny and a little bit melted so now we're going to put on the toppings and just be careful because that candy is a little bit hot so i made sure all of it was melted and then we're going to put on the pecans and the m ms you just want to be careful the pecans were easy to put on there but when you put the m ms on it was a little bit tricky because you don't want to put your finger in that chocolate it was a little bit hot and make sure you press the chocolate all the way down so it touches the M&Ms. Some of them came through because they didn't get melted onto the, onto the pretzel. So I learned my lesson here. But these turned out really good and the boys, my grandkids, really loved them. And you could always put some sprinkles on them too. Just decorate them up any way you'd like. I hope y'all make all three of these recipes. They were easy and delicious. I want to thank Valerie and Sammy for hosting. I'll have their channels linked down below in the description box. And I'll also have all these recipes and also have the playlist. So make sure you check out all the videos for all these great recipes you're going to get. So I hope y'all have a wonderful holiday and I'll see y'all in the next video.